what's going on guys? Today we are checking out Deputy Flack by Joltsdude139. Uh, this is a Jacobs Flack build uh, using the critical hit mechanics with Jacobs to kind of mesh with Flack's skill tree of critical damage to do some craziness. Before we get into the build, I would first like to remind you guys to please like the video, comment what, vid what builds you'd like me to do, what characters you want to see, stuff like that. Also, subscribe if you really like the content. It really helps me know that you guys like it. It helps me to know to keep making these, that kind of thing. So with that, let's get into the build review. Here we have a Jacob's Flack build by Joltsdude139. His channel and also the build video will be linked down in the description, so you can check that out. Please, I urge you to check it out. He explains the video a lot better than I'm going to. I'm just kind of going to go over points quickly. Also, he kind of shows off the three-shot fadeaway build of this, where you use consecutive hits and use these rocket launchers that are in the inventory. I'm not really looking at that as much. I'm looking at this as more of just a straight-up Jacob's Flack build. So that's where all my things are going to be skewed toward. Just want that to be known beforehand. With using just the Jacobs guns, though, we get the Maggie, we get the Hellwalker, we get the Rowan's Call, we get the Skull Masher, we get Kings and Queens calls for bossing. We've got more Rowan's calls here. We've got a Robin's Call for trying to do the three shot flak build. We've got the Shockwave, which is good. I don't really mess with it, but it's probably pretty good. I don't use anything but the Hellwalker, to be completely honest with you, because it's way too good. Um, the other items on this are the Shield, which is the Revolter, Bounty Hunter class mod, which is for bossing. You got your Cosmic Stalker for mobbing, and your Stack Bot for bossing as well. You got your Jacob's Company Man, which is a really good relic, relifact, if you will. It gives a lot of damage. And then you got your Mitosis Hunter Seeker as well. For this spec, we've got a full blue tree, red tree build with Megavore and Dominance using Leave No Trace and Headcount to do some crazy things. We've got this green tree down to Fast and Nefarious and get to get Blick My Wounds. And there's no purple skills in this, so you can actually do this with vanilla as well. Now, we're going to get into how we rank all of these builds. Um, the first thing we're going to go through is build difficulty. So, how hard is it to use the build? Is it something that, like, is it like a pet flak build where you just, like, destroy everything without, with really just doing action command and that's it? Or like a, a really meta ties build, like a free radical ties that bind Amara and using indiscriminate to destroy everything? Is it that, is it that easy to use? Or is it like a, a gunless or a level one playthrough or like no class mod or something like that? Is it like super hard to do? Um, that's kind of how I'm doing the difficulty scale i think that's a better judge of it for this this build isn't very hard to use it's really just like hit your crits and you do really well there's not a lot to think about there's not a lot to really push you just equip any of these fantastic guns these jacobs guns which are pretty much the best ones you can get for jacobs um like the duke is okay or the duck whatever you want to call it is okay but these are pretty much the premium Jacobs items you're gonna want for this build anyway. For build difficulty, we're gonna we're gonna keep this one pretty low. This is gonna be like a three or a four. There's not a whole lot that you need to know when it comes to this build, because a lot of it's a gorillas in the mist. You can do the three shot fade if you wanna switch till until you're dead. You get a little bit more health regeneration. It's actually really good for mobbing to do this more than anything else but since our like hell walkers fade away active and this ronin's calls fade away active a lot of your bossing is going to be in gorillas it's just going to be holding down the trigger as much as you can to get so much damage out for game knowledge we're going to go with a three for game knowledge it's not very hard to use this build by any means and the reason why it's a three and not just a one is because you have to actually know about the leave no trace head count so you'd have to actually like look at the skill tree for more than three minutes read these two skills and go oh hey i want to get critical hits all the time and because of this i get critical hits all the time not all the time 20 percent. so one fifth of your shots or 
you have like it's like 1.2 Maggie pull trigger pulls. <laughs> like you have a chance to, to proc this, so it's it's pretty good. Like I said, really it would just take like a minute of looking through the skill tree and checking out like frenzy and he bites is a good interaction. You don't need to know about it, but it, this gives you. 10 stacks of fury or frenzy which gives you damage and anytime they deal damage to your enemy or to your pet your pet deals damage back which is great the other point i have is knowing which class mods to use at what time but it's the simplest cosmic stalker for your mobbing always and you're going to want to use bounty hunter on bosses or stack bot on bosses it's really your preference I prefer Bounty Hunter because my aim is not perfect and sometimes you don't kill them in one um, fade away. So you want to make sure you get your, your hunter skills. For number three, gear dependence. I'm going to explain it a little bit because I changed it from the last one, um, gear acquisition. The gear dependence is basically, can I play this build and pick up any gun or does it only work with only one interaction, one item? Like one specific thing, like the face puncher. There's a lot of builds that, melee builds that deal with the face puncher specifically. Um, there's a lot of builds that deal with the guardian angel specifically. There's a couple of those kind of builds. Those are more like tens. They're dependent on exactly this kind of gear. This build, since it's Jacobs, I have to give it a four because you are gonna want this Jacobs Company man. You're gonna want the Rowan's Call. You're gonna want the Maggie. Like these specific legendaries are fantastic. And also don't forget about your damage boost from Little Chomper. The gear on this is, is not too bad to actually acquire. The big pain is gonna be like the Rowan's Call here and here. Like these are gonna be a pain to get. And I mean, I guess the Kings and Queens Calls could be pretty hard because without a good bossing weapon, Tyreen's kind of not mean but it just takes a while and we have like maggie which is pretty easy hell walker which is isn't a hard farm but it's just tedious skull masher which is just the easiest farm i've ever seen in my life because if you can kill um Ista and not revive him the third time it just drops all his loot and you can just run in and grab it it's hilarious it's one of the funniest things i've ever seen um like revolter is gonna be hard to get this one's triple absorbed so jesus um, that's that's a transformer. That's insane. I didn't I didn't actually look at that. Um, like the bounty hunter is gonna be hard to get to get with these exact rolls, but really you don't need exactly these. Also got my favorite, the clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is gross. For the build type, I'm gonna say that this is a all around good build. It's a, like a very all around build. You can do a lot of farming with it. You can do your bossing with it. You can do your mobbing with it. This can do guardian takedown. This can do Malawan takedown. Like you can do all the stuff that you want to do with it for sure. Now, my opinion on the build is I, I have to give this build, I think, a 10 out of 10, honestly. This is such a fun build, and it, it isn't restricted by much um, at all, actually. You can mob really well with these Jacob weapon, Jacob's weapons, and you can definitely just melt bosses, which is pretty much the only things you really want to do. So... I, I really like this build. I mean, yeah, you go down a few times, but I mean, that's just playing on flak. Right, so what are your guys' opinion about the build? Do you guys think I'm I'm dumb and not think not seeing something correctly? Um, do you think this is the best build you've ever seen? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to try it out for yourself, the game save is in the video linked down below. Uh, also check out Jiltsdude139. Dude's got some fantastic Borderlands 3 content. I would be surprised if you haven't heard of him before this, but definitely check out the build. And with that, you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus.